In 2010, 15% of new marriages were interracial. This is the highest percentage in history. This number continues to grow for couples whose love is more than skin deep. Tyler and Becky Anderson have a one-of-a-kind love. With any relationship, the Andersons have much in common, from lifestyle views to life's simple pleasures. Becky's family loves Mountain Dew. Uh, they love Mountain Dew more than uh, any other family I've ever ran into. They love Mountain Dew, and That's I really enjoy Mountain Dew, and it's really funny. Tyler and Becky's marriage is unique for other reasons as well. They are one out of the 4.8 million couples in the U.S. who married outside of their race. No, mm -mm, no, it wasn't. He was Tyler. <laughs> and it, yeah, it wasn't, a, it wasn't an issue at all. It wasn't something I thought about. A Pew Research study found that 1 in 12 U.S. marriages are interracial. Marrying someone from another race has evolved over the years. There was changes in Hollywood, media. Uh, we saw the characters uh, in Hollywood uh, become more sympathetic towards racial minorities, which would change attitudes to be more sympathetic in interracial relationships and marriage. In 1980, just 3% of marriages were interracial. In some states, it was even illegal 50 years ago. But as time goes on, it becomes more accepted. Parents come from a diff different generation who saw race differently. As social progression evolves, there will always be those who still do not share the same views. You are going to find um, people that are racist in, in every culture that want you to stay inside the race, and you're going to find people that uh, are okay with that. For Tyler and Becky, embracing their racial and ethnic diversity has brought them together. With photographer Devin Krinke, I'm Allie Strand reporting for Studio One. Due to the increasing number of interracial marriages, the Census Bureau estimates that multiracial Americans will represent a majority of the population by 2050.